so a Saturday video and no video on Friday well that's because I screwed up Friday's video so bad that it's going to take me a couple weeks to be able to redo it hey what's happening guys today we are going to take a look at this disinfection lamp from a company called PW Pam it is a UV sterilization lamp with ozone so ultraviolet comes in many different flavors the one that does sterilizing is ultraviolet C with a wavelength of between 100 and 280 nanometers this will kill germs bacteria viruses it will also do some damage to your skin and especially your eyes so you don't want to be looking at this and the way they have it set up is you hold this button in for three seconds and this will start blinking blue for 30 seconds giving you time to exit the room and when you do it'll turn on for about 30 minutes or so yeah, it turns off after 30 minutes uh, USB charges in an hour and a half so it's pretty neat I've been using it around the house for a few days according to the specifications from the company this will sterilize an area of up to a hundred cubic feet which really isn't all that much you know what that 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot so maybe like a bathroom or something you know it's pretty good for that this is a uh, 3.8 watts and it will uh, put out a dual wavelength of 185 nanometers and 253.7 nanometers which if you remember that paper that I just showed you that's right smack in the middle of that germicidal range and this is available on Amazon I'll put a link down below it's $25.99 it is uh, kinda neat so let me uh, shut some lights off here and we'll turn it on and we'll have a look at it all right, well, we'll test it here and take a look at it now. You don't want to have any exposed skin, and you also want to make sure you protect your eyes while I'm doing that. And uh, before you ask about the fingers, nothing wrong with them. But uh, when my anxiety acts up, I tend to bite my fingers, so I put Band-Aids on them so I wouldn't do that. Uh, it's been a lot going on, but don't worry about it. We're all good. All right, so as soon as the light starts blinking I will turn the timer on we'll see how long it takes for the bulb to go I'm gonna sound weird because I'm putting on my face and eye protection now we should be about halfway there Now, one of the things you're probably going to notice is there's a very pale blue glow. And that is one of the ways that you can tell that it is actually UVC and not UVA or UVB. There, it's on. So, about 39 seconds. See that pale blue glow? Okay, I'm going to shut it off. There we go. All right. So what is it good for? Well, it's a disinfectant, it's a sterilization tool. And I'm reading off of the uh, FDA website here. And it says UVC radiation has been shown to destroy the outer protein coating of the SARS coronavirus, which is different from the SARS CoV-2 virus. The destruction ultimately leads to inactivation of the, of the virus. So uh, what, what they're saying here is it, it may or may not, nobody really knows yet. Um, many UVC lamps sold for home use are low dose, so it takes a longer exposure. Yeah, that's about it. We say we take it apart. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, well, that just jumped right off, didn't it? I think there might be something hiding underneath there, huh? Screw or something, perhaps? Let us find out. What do we got here? Oh, it's upside down. 
Portable ultraviolet germicidal lamp model ST-XD-8. 5 volts, 1000 milliamp battery, 3.8 watts. Do not look directly at it. Do not even be in the room with it when it's on. It can harm your DNA. Okay, there's nothing under there. Well, that was fun. Alright, can we get in here? That leads us to nothing. Hmm. Ah, screws. Way down in there. All right. One more to go. We'll get it out. Yep, I think we're gonna come apart and we'll be able to see what's inside. I don't imagine there's much in here. Battery, some sort of timer circuitry. That's really probably about it. Yeah. So we've got our lipo. We've got a uh, USB connector. We've got a little board with a transformer. There's really not much going on here. I see a couple transistors, a boost charge circuit for the battery, you know, some passives. Yeah, it's just a, it's a timing circuit and a battery charging circuit. Very simple construction. N nicely done, very nicely done actually. I, I, I like it. Very nice. Let me put it back together here. So I was doing some reading, and remember how it said it puts out the two different wavelengths of light? Well, the quartz tube blocks the 185 nanometers and outputs the 253.7 nanometer. And the pale blue light is due to uh, the spectral lines from the mercury also contained in here. And these uh, bulbs are only about 30 to 40 percent efficient, but, you know, they do what they're supposed to do. So, you know... It's going to cover a small area. Remember, the further away you get, the less you're going to get. Uh, and it's going to multiply. you got the, the law of inverse squares, which, uh, what's it say exactly? Oh, how's that go? Been a long time. Uh, specified physical quantity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Something, something along those lines, I don't remember exactly. Anyway. I want to thank PW Pam for sending this out to us for our consideration. I'll put a link uh, down below. I want to thank you guys for watching and being a part of the community. And I uh, hope you have a nice day. That's it. I'm out. Peace.